Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. To begin with, the Friday teaser for Gie features Sonny Corinthos attempting to flee the Q estate, but Lois Serralo catches him, saying, trying to sneak out without seeing me. Will Sonny tell his oldest friend everything that's going on in his life at the moment, including his predicament, now that he's busted? Speaking of Sonny, Carly Spencer will confront her ex-husband about a certain issue in a scene with the Mafia boss on Friday's episode. Will he comply with anything she requests? In other Carly news, she apologizes to Brooke Lynn Quartermain Chase, Amanda Seton, in Friday's promo video. It appears that she will express regret for previous transgressions, such as requesting that BLQ put Dante Falconeri and Lulu Spencer apart in the past. Will Carly receive some grace from Brooke Lynn? On Friday, Michael Corinthos will likely be very worried about his wife, Willow Corinthos. When Willow starts to show more warning signs, what will Michael assume is wrong with her? It will be up to the fans to find out. John Jagger Cates will continue to push people around with his agency badge across town while doing what he does best, appear like a crazy, power-tripping FBI agent. Christina Corinthos Davis is seen asking someone, how are you going to charge me with the death of my own child? In the Gear 8 Daily Preview. But given how Molly Lansing Davis is now feeling, is it possible that she may attempt to charge Christina in addition to the case John is handling? In the Friday, August 30 episode, there will be more thesis for John, revealing that Alexis Davis will also give the FBI agent everything she has. The daily teaser video shows John threatening her, one call to the Bar Association, and I can make that go away, so it's obvious that she'll back him into a corner. Is John genuinely of the opinion that he can have Alexis's legal license revoked once more? According to Gia's spoilers for Friday's program reveal, Ava Jerome will be extremely afraid. She has strong reasons to be upset, especially in light of recent events. In the daily teaser video for Friday, she is seen driving with Agent Boyles in the dark while the enigmatic agent says, Your life is in Agent Kate's hands. Who could blame Ava for her nervousness at this point? Last but not least, according on the Gia teaser video, Lucky Spencer will be in a difficult situation on Friday. He is shown tied up in a cell with thugs on either end, anticipating some sort of interrogation. In Friday's episode, Lucky will meet Carlos Rota in person as he makes his on-screen debut in an undisclosed and top-secret role. Will Rota turn out to be a good or bad guy? Fans of General Hospital will have to watch closely to make sure they don't miss a second of the drama in Port Charles, a spoiler suggests that Friday's episode will be unforgettable and full of cliffhangers. It sounds like Sam is about to die off. Online speculations are spreading that Monaco is expected to leave the show sooner rather than later, despite reports that the character will leave this autumn. Although Labor Day weekend may be seen as the unofficial start of fall, autumn officially begins on Sunday, September 22nd. Therefore, it's possible that Sam and Kelly's departure will begin to fall apart as early as the week of September 2-6. During the Tuesday, August 27 episode, Laura Collins was deeply affected by the news that Nicholas Cassidine is not qualified to donate liver for Lulu Spencer. Now that she thinks Lucky Spencer, Joe, is Lulu's only chance, she is more determined than ever to find him so much so that she will ask the WSB for assistance. It will not be long until the agency locates Lucky and returns him to his family. He'll probably be put to the test right away, but will he be the one to keep his sister from losing? If Lucky was returned to Port Charles and it turned out that he was not a match or could not receive the liver transplant, that would be a very suspenseful situation. Since he was unable to assist with Lulu's bone marrow transplant all those years ago, Nicholas was brought in. How is it that he can assist at this point? Fans should still anticipate a dramatic twist with this plotline, though, 
since many of the town's citizens are presently being tested in the unlikely event that they might be able to save Lulu. Is Sam going to prove to be a match? She would jump at the chance to assist Lulu, not only because it is who she is, but also because she has a close bond with Rocco Falconeri. When you consider the conflicted feelings Dante Falconeri harbors for each of the two women, you might have an intriguing yet unsatisfactory plot. Viewers may also remember Laura telling Nick that there are significant risks associated with this kind of operation on Tuesday, when she visited Nick in prison. Could Sam lose her life attempting to save Lulu if she is a donor match for Lulu? According to General Hospital teasers, Sam McCall's tale may come to an end tragically in Port Charles. For Dante and Guillet fans, the mere notion that Sam would perish in order for Lulu to survive would cause a great deal of conflicting emotions. Additionally, given everything that is happening with the Davis girls, Alexis Davis may become depressed. Fans should prepare for a rough ride in PC because of his relationship with a crime boss. Usin has always been very close to all of Sonny Corinthos's children. Though it's simple to assume that Christina is reaching out to Jason in the hopes of getting his assistance in carrying out her plans for retaliation against Ava Jerome, more could emerge from their interactions. For now, Christina is in a bad place. In addition to losing her child, she also had intentions to request custody of the child, which were made public, and she and Molly Lansing are at odds. Davis. During the baby's funeral, Molly made Christina accept responsibility for the child's death in a very dramatic scene while Christina broke down in sobs. Christina may feel that her grief will be alleviated if Ava Jerome pays for her actions, as she holds Ava Jerome responsible for the baby's death in the Metro Court pool disaster. Like Sonny, Jason will not see it this way. When he's not dragging people out of situations, Jason has a way of bringing everyone back to normal, so maybe he can connect with Christina during their conversation. In addition, he might advise her to get in touch with him if she needs anything. Since Blaze, also known as Allison, Ali Rogers is no longer involved, Christina is left without a love interest. Since he returned to the Port Charles scene in early March 2024, Jason has also remained single, and it's evident from storylines that he probably won't be getting back together with Sam McCall or Carly Spencer anytime soon. Though there have been suggestions of a romantic relationship between him and Elizabeth Weber, Rebecca Herbst, Things could change for hashtag Team Liaison now that Lucky Spencer is back. Is Jason and Christina's relationship being hinted at in the soap opera? Jason may find himself in a difficult situation now that he's back in Sonny's good graces, particularly if he starts to feel any unexpected romantic feelings. Since Christina could use a friend in town right now, she might first turn to Jason for comfort. However, the two might find it difficult to pursue the concept of making their friendship more amorous. In addition, the crime leader Sonny might not be overjoyed that his best friend is showing interest in his daughter. Though Christina has previously dated males, her most recent relationships have been with women. It would be incorrect to entirely rule out a romance with Jason. Christina is an independent woman who has never followed rules before, always going with her instincts. Watchers should prepare for some drama ahead as General Hospital teasers suggest that a romance between Christina and Jason would lead to the proverbial poop hitting the fan in PC. So, what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.